just even. And then if you don't feel like being done, I feel bad it's like our instincts. Oh, yeah. But we talk for <laughs> our girly things. Yeah. So okay. if you take a look at apex of the scap and where each one sits, you can see a significant mm. difference. Now go ahead and pull your shoulder blades down and back. It doesn't disappear with contraction. Actually, it gets a little bit worse. Huh. So go ahead and relax. So. <laughs> the lat hang. <laughs> hey. One of the reasons why we're seeing, even in resting position, your um, scapular position so off is because you are really tight through these right. lateral structures. So right. it's almost like, I'm going to exaggerate a little bit, but it's almost like pulling you forward right and I mean, you can, in here and, like, and you can feel all of that yeah tightness. so I mean I don't necessarily know that it's a first rib like you had kind of oh, mentioned before that's what I thought, maybe. but yeah. there's definitely I mean yeah. even just in a resting position you have a lot of tonic yeah. tension through your upper trap um and then you can feel it through oh God, the anterior middle so, so we're gonna do that okay we're gonna do some kneeling Ooh, yeah. Okay, go ahead and lay down on your through here. Needle me up. Yeah, that's like really tight. So what are we doing now? So this is upper trap. So okay. basically, I mean, this is a common trigger point for a lot okay. of people, especially people who, Ooh. there we go, there's a twitch oh response. Gosh. Um, so just because of the way you said you woke up, kind of right. all like, fetal positioned um <laughs> technical term yes then like just the the positioning of your shoulder right i mean it just i mean you can already tell the difference in the tissue because before it felt uh, almost like being on the well already bone. yeah and so now we're just pliable oh yeah Ooh, that's tight it'll yeah. kind of give a little more space here so we're levator upper trap and then your scalenes okay. actually run uh, along next to sternocleidomastoid okay. So through here, kind of where you're feeling that other, uh, yeah. So oh we'll probably, I'll have you flip over to get it okay. a little better in a second, okay. but we can still come through anteriorly as well. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that was fast. That was a big twitch response. But this, I mean, again, a twitch response or a trigger point is good for a period of time because it's a right. defense mechanism for the muscle but if it stays it can cause there you oh go gosh. it can cause issues like this which create compensation patterns which right. is why you're getting shoulder pain so uh, and that's made your anterior structure of the shoulder tight too so we'll have to get into that a little bit oh so this coupled with some stretching and some blood flow right will help a lot that makes Ooh. felt that one what you felt that one yeah Yeah. Ugh. You're right. Yeah. Hurts a little bit. Too bad though. Ooh, that hurts. Yeah. Okay. Why does that hurt more? So you're just really tense through mm -hmm. here. Ooh, that one's tighter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you're so rude. Ooh. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. There we go. You can feel it loosen up like right wow. away. Wow. So I'll probably, will I feel some relief by tomorrow? Oh yeah, you'll feel it today. You'll be sore, uh, but it'll be, it'll be a lot good. better. Yeah. Which by the way, which So before, when I had my, so here is the ridge of your scap so before you were like here wow. and here and we were really anterior rotating yeah. on this side which is what drew up our our shoulder right why you're having so much tension through this upper trap right. so we needle anterior structures so so middle delt anterior delt levator upper trap and you just kind of yeah just totally relax and then so we're much closer 
to level, you'll always because you're right handed, right? Mm-hmm. So you're always gonna have a little difference. Yeah. Like when you look at someone from the back to the front, mm-hmm. you're always gonna see a heightened position on the their handedness side, ninety five percent of the time. So this is more of a negligible position as opposed to here mm. when you're like oh it hurts right, like, right, yeah right. that would hurt most people well, <laughs> so yeah, yeah so now we go it. into wow, we'll get into your homework and see how we can keep it this way homework. 